Hey there combo fans, Brian to Cook, and today we are playing a sweet, sweet legacy donation deck. I don't really know what this deck is called, if I'm being honest. You could call it like Entombment Show, I guess that would be a name for it, because, well, the main deck is a sort of Tin Fins-esque package, where we're looking to reanimate a Gristle brand and eventually win the game via Wither Bloom Apprentice plus Chain of Smog. So that is the Entomb half. And then in the sideboard, we have a Juke of boarding into Show and Tell, Omniscience, Emrakul, plus uh, some other cards to support that package. So sort of a spicy deck list. It's reminiscent of the Entombsday deck that we played a few months ago here on this very YouTube channel. And that's sort of the entire uh, concept behind this deck. And if you're unfamiliar, Witherbloom Apprentice says whenever you cast or copy a spell, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. So you pair that with Chain of Smog targeting yourself, and you can just create infinite copies targeting yourself. And with that, you make your opponent lose infinite life and you gain infinite life. So there's this sweet combo that stays in the deck the entire time. And I was given a cyborg guide for this deck, and it is you always board out four in tomb, four reanimate, four careful study, and three shallow grave for all 15 cards. Whoa, didn't mean to drag that, but for all 15 cards. So that is the idea. I'm going to call it in tomb and show. I don't really know if there's an official deck name for this or not, but thank you to Jonathan, and I'm not even going to attempt to butcher your last name. So thanks again. That's the deck tech. I'm just happy to hop in and play it. Happy New Year, by the way. Today is the 1st of January, and, uh, you know, no better way of kicking it off than with a spicy donation deck. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, and I will see you in match number one. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. That said, there's no better way of showing your support than becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks, and we get to keep making combo content. The perks get better and better each level you go up. They also stack. To start off, with our Storm Fan tier, you unlock our private member section of our Discord, which comes with a highlighted user profile, and then some awesome badges and emotes for YouTube. Looking for a Cyborg help? Become a Stormtrooper, our middle tier, for two Cyborg guides of your deck choice every single month, on top of 50% off donation decks. Did we mention you also get 10% off merchandise from our shop? With our top tier, the Combo Cabal, you get a free donation deck every single month, 15% off merchandise from our shop, early access to private deck lists, and the most valuable perk in my opinion, videos early. That's right, you heard it, early access to all videos. Videos. But maybe Sweet Perk Secret Deck List Early Access to Videos isn't for you, but you'd still like to show your appreciation. Make sure to check out theepicstorm.com slash shop for card singles and storm swag. Please don't forget to use your membership discounts. Finally, if you want to see your combo deck here on this very YouTube channel, make sure to visit theepicstorm.com slash donation decks, where all you have to do is attach your TXT file and pick a donation tier. With our epic tier, you can even join me in a video to showcase your bold brew in person and explain the ins and outs of your strategy. Card availability won't be an issue due to our new sponsor, Card Hoarder. With Card Hoarder, renting is super easy. If you're looking to get into Magic Online, Line, there isn't a better, more affordable solution than Card Hoarder. Fun fact, you can rent the Epic Storm for 7 tickets a week, which is just a great deal. There are many ways you can support us, just pick whatever is best for you. In the meantime, let's play some Magic. Welcome to match number 1, we are on the play and we're facing Fenris Cloud who's a known advocate of running Infect in Legacy. So we have Dark Ritual and Tomb Reanimate. I'm a little bit concerned that that's not going to be good enough against uh, Fenris Cloud, who's likely going to mulligan for Force of Will, but I think we're going to keep it anyway. Okay, so I think I'm going to try to get a little bit sneaky here. And I might careful study in before I entomb. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I should entomb first. I don't know, because this way they might force this, and then if I hit a Gristlebrand there. Okay, so let's careful study now. I can't remember if this deck had days in it or not. 
We hit a second reanimate. That's nuts. So even if they have Horse of Will here, it doesn't matter. So we're going to attempt to bring back the Gristle. And that's a concession. Woot, woot. I guess we showed our opponent the Witherboom Apprentice, but... Turn one on the play. Welcome to Legacy, everyone. Welcome to Legacy. And now we're going to board in all this stuff and follow the Cyborg Guide instructions. So we want to keep the Gristle Brands. My bad. But we do get rid of these copies of Shallow Grave. We get rid of Careful Study. And then Entomb and Reanimate. Those were the other cards. Uh, just let me confirm that really quick with the Cyborg Guide I was sent. Born Tomb, Reanimate, Careful Study, Shallow Grave. That's it. So we got the uh, the turn one with backup, essentially, since we had double reanimate, but how lucky. And now we're going into game two on the draw against Likely Infect. Okay, so here we have a pair of show and tells, but the rest of this hand doesn't really function, so I think we're supposed to mulligan. Uh, well... It's technically a hand. I think you're supposed to just go to five. To four? I don't know about this. So I think if you ask yourself, how do you realistically win this game? It's that we draw a chain of smog and protect ourselves with defense grid. And I hid the show and tell stuff because I don't want our opponent, who's apparently on Delver, to know about the show and tell plan. Okay. Not on Infect. What a world. That's a ponder. Did not shuffle off ponder. So we're going to take one from Delver Secrets. Okay, um, yeah, might as well, uh, fetch. Grab that Tropical Island and cast Brainstorm. But we're looking for a Chain of Smog to pair with the Witherbloom Apprentice. And we got dazed. Yep. I mean, we did our thing game one. You can't be too angry about that happening. And we're going to attempt to slam Defense Grid here. Okay, grid resolved. We are now looking for Chain of Smog. And they flipped Bolt, but fetched it away. So they do not have a bolt, that Bolt in hand at least. Wasteland, that's kind of brutal. Okay, and another Ponder. So our best draws from here are Black Source, play Witherbloom, and then Chain of Smog. Draw. There's our black source. So now we just need to draw a chain of smog. There's no... Oh, no, there is a swamp in here. Yeah, I'm going to just get the swamp. Play Witherbloom. Okay, we need a top deck chain of smog. There's four of them in the deck. Ah, oh, another wasteland. Brutal. Channeler. Okay, we're going to fall to 11. So either Mana Source or Chain here. That can tutor uh, Chain of Smog, but I fear it's going to be too slow against these creatures. Two available mana. Expressive Iteration. Uh, they're pretty close to having Delirium. I don't know if this will do it, and that does. So they're going to attack for six. I'll go to five, and then I think I'm likely just dead. Okay. Did not go as the doctor ordered this game. Okay, we'll go to game three. No worries about that. Sometimes losses happen. Uh, I wonder if we still want this plan versus the Delver deck. Or if we want the plan that's cheaper. I'm not sure. Let's just stick with it. They didn't see the show and tell package, so you never know. Maybe their deck is full of surgicals right now. 
Okay, so this is a turn two thought sees into show and tell. I'm fine with that. Okay. So I think we want a thought sees now because it's going to allow us to beat days next turn. So let's thought sees. All right, we're going to take the force. Okay. So they're probably just going to ponder here. Yep. Let's see a shuffle. Shoe fail. Did not shuffle. I think I'm still just going to attempt to resolve show and tell here. Dark ritual. Show and tell. One mana floating. Hey. Uh, let's go to 10 and draw 7. Oh, can't do that. The game has ended. All right, so we are 1-0 over Is It Delver. Get out of here, best deck in the format. You're no match for Entombment Show. Match number two will be coming up in just a second. If you haven't joined them already, I would recommend opening up our description down below and joining our seven social media networks. They're each great in their own way, but I would strongly suggest joining our Discord server. In there, you will find others just like you looking to improve their Storm game and grow as a combo community. If you're a member of our YouTube channel, you should sync your account to Discord to unlock our private member section that has the latest and greatest deck lists, concepts, and much, much more. Let's get back to comboing out. Welcome back for match number two. We're on the draw and we have another turn one Gristlebrand here. So let's see what our opponent's playing. Uh-oh, this looks like 8-cast. I am not excited about that. Ooh, not 8-cast. Painter? What's happening here? We revealed Brainstorm. Goblin Engineer. So I like this because it means that our reanimate is very likely going to resolve. Okay, so they're going to draw a card off Bobble. And we will get to draw a card for turn. If we draw a Dark Ritual, I think that we just have an Underworld or uh, an Apprentice combo win with the Chain of Smog. So Dark Ritual is a really good draw here. But, I mean, we already just have turn one Gristlebrand and Shallow Grave. Uh, Shallow Grave doesn't really... Uh, maybe it's better than the Reanimate? I'm not sure. I don't think so. Okay, so we're going to put Gristlebrand into play. Entomb. Gristle, Gristle. Gristlebrand to the graveyard, and then Gristlebrand onto the battlefield. And then we will draw seven, going down to four life. All right, we hit pedal. Pedal. Um, they have four cards in hand. I think we're supposed to brainstorm here. That doesn't do it. Um, I don't know what to do. I think like maybe we hide a chain of smog and reanimate on top. Way Lotus Petal. Dark Ritual, and then I'm going to Chain of Smog them. And if they decide to copy it, sweet. It's at least an interesting game, that's for sure. And our opponent has conceded. Nice. Alright, so Turbo and Gristlebrand again, just too powerful. And we're going to do the board plan. I don't think we need the defense grids this time, though. So, I think we're going to do a partial plan. Uh, so let's get rid of the careful studies against the painter deck that likely has, um, some like hydroblast effects in it anyway. We don't really need grief, so grief could actually get boarded out here. And then I wonder if like we don't board in the wish clause. Like what if we just do this instead? 
I'm gonna try this out. A little bit of a hybrid, hybrid plan going against the cyborg guide, I'm sorry, but defense grid and grief aren't super good against the painter deck anyway. Game number two. We have uh, sort of the problem with playing two card monty strategies. We have a little bit of everything here. I think we're just supposed to mulligan that. And we have Entomb Reanimate. This hand desperately wants a Dark Ritual. Um, I don't think we're allowed to keep this. I think we have to go to a five. Okay, so we can put back Shallow Grave Reanimate. Okay, no Ley Line. Lotus Petal Tormod's Crypt. So Crypt kind of stinks for us here. And they are playing blue. Okay, so he cast adjacent. Draw. I'm going to attempt to reanimate their thought monitor. I would pay seven life to draw two cards right now. Oh, we got to do it. Okay. Um, I think we just play out these petals and pass. Okay, so they're going to bobble us. We reveal Gristlebrand. We do have the issue of this Tormod's Crypt being on the battlefield. All right, so they've played a Lotus Petal again. Now they're just passing the turn. We're looking for Witherbloom Apprentice. Ooh. Uh, let's just attack to start this off. I wonder if there's a way for me to get tricky here. I don't think there is. With the Entomb. I guess I could try to Dark Ritual Entomb reanimate the um, Witherbloom Apprentice. I think what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to end step Entomb for Witherbloom Apprentice, untap and attempt to reanimate it. So Gristlebrand costs seven. So another Dark Ritual off the top means I can also just hard cast it. All right, they have three mana. Goblin Engineer. Okay. Picker Wellspring. That's an interesting choice. Previously, they went and got Trinisphere, so I'm just a little shocked by that. Oh, no, I was supposed to end Step in Tomb. Damn it. Uh, so that's interesting. All right, let's think through this. So I can chain a smog myself. That actually worked out. All right, so I'm going to chain a smog myself, discard Bristlebrand and Entomb, and then attempt to reanimate the crypt, and then I shallow grave. Okay, so now I attempt to reanimate the Gristle Brand. They're going to crit me, and in response, I Shallow Grave. That worked out quite well. Accidental misclicks uh, for the win. Okay. Let's move to combat. Get in there. So this is going to put me up to... Uh, 19, which means I can activate this Grosser Brand twice. Now I'm at 5. Got to think about the best way of doing this. We didn't hit a Dark Ritual, unfortunately. Um, so I guess I could try to reanimate a Wither Bloom to win here. Oh no, that ends up me being one mana short still. Damn. Uh, I did my math wrong there. All right, let's just brainstorm. And that's not good either. So now we're at four. They have two power on the board. I might have messed this up. Maybe I was just supposed to play the Wither Bloom and then cast a spell. I don't know. Oh, they got boarding and seated. Okay, so we're now 2-0. We didn't actually have it there. 
Uh, but you never know. I don't know. Maybe we would have lost. Maybe they just said side of their hand wasn't good enough. But we're 2-0, three rounds left to go. This deck is a lot of fun. I'll say that. Playing your favorite combo deck in paper just got so much easier with the Epic Storm mini token pack. You can pick one up at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $13. It includes 64 double-sided mini tokens. That's 128 tokens total. And they include 10 black, 10 blue, 10 red, 5 green, 5 white, 3 colorless, 20 storm counters. That means that you can count your way all the way up to 20 for grape shot everyone's favorite storm wind condition a galvanic relay exile indicator four treasure tokens for strike it rich and then 10 monk tokens for our vintage friends it also has slime time live eve progenitor ooze tokens with the power and toughness already built in to make playing in paper so much easier no fumbling around with dice we've got you covered Make sure to go grab those if you're playing modern. And then Squirrels versus Goblins, Chatterstorm versus Empty the Warrens, the Battle of the Ages. You definitely need 20 Squirrel tokens and 20 Goblin tokens. You're going to love this mini token pack, I promise. And once again, you can grab that at theepicstorm.com slash shop. Welcome to the third match. We're on the play. Let's get it. We have Dark Ritual, Chain of Smog ourselves, and Reanimate Gristlebrand. I'm in. All in the name of turn one gristles. The problem is that when your username is Bryant Cook, uh, your opponents tend to mulligan for interaction, and that's what our opponent just did. I do know that Phil Gallagher uh, released a video with this same deck list last week, so if you're interested in Phil's video, definitely go check that out. But Phil had the benefit of opponents not mulliganing for forcible against him, so... Uh, I don't know how Phil did. I actually didn't click on Phil's video. I'm sorry, Phil. Uh, but that's definitely a benefit that Phil had. So here our opponent kept five, but let's see if they have uh, the interaction spell. Target ourselves the chain of smog. Okay. No. Reanimate Gristlebrand. Please resolve. Please resolve. Please resolve. Hey. hey. And back up to seven cards in hand. So they have five cards. We could just chain and smog them right now. I'm just going to pass. Like, I doubt they have anything that interacts favorably with the Gristle brand. The Lotus Petal. Looting. Okay. So is this the Madness deck? Dredge. Okay. So I'm glad I didn't Chain of Smog them. <laughs> uh, but I wonder if they're going to kill me through my turn one Gristlebrand. Need them to miss on the Thug. They did not miss. Oh no, that's a Putrid Imp. That is the wrong Imp. They did miss. Okay, so we get a second chance of life here. Draw. Let's attack with the demon. So this is going to put them to 12, and we'll go up to 12. Tie ball game, we'll pay 7 life, drawing 7 cards. And that is it. We have the win. Dark Ritual. Sacrifice this to add a green. Play the Apprentice, and... Chain of Smog. And that's going to do it. Okay, and our opponent concedes. Ooch, wooch. This deck is powerful. So do we want the Graveyard Effects versus Dredge? I think so. I think speed is probably just insanely crucial here. So I think we want to do a little bit of a mixed play in once again. Where, I'm sorry, I know I was given the cyborg guide to follow, but I don't think that's actually the appropriate thing to do here. I think we want a little bit of A, a little bit of B. And we can, like, keep in the Brazen Borrower um, is, like, that backup plan. What I also like about this is when you do that, the AB plan, you get uh, Entomb, Shadow, Grave, your Umbergle. So this is very Tinfins-esque, which I kind of enjoy. 
think we can shave the personal tutor and then we have to find four more slots to trim down on probably get rid of these thought seasons on the draw we don't really need those so now we just need two more i think it's just like too careful study maybe let's try this out you could ward in Tide Spout, but I don't think Tide Spout is actually that good against a deck like uh, Dredge. So that's why I didn't side in the Tide Spout Tyrant. Interesting hand. Um, I think Show and Tell is nice, but I don't know if this is good enough. I think we're supposed to go to six. This is missing a Lotus Petal for a turn one. We'll try it. Keep bottom the Gristle Brand. So. Uh, a Lotus Petal wins the game. Our opponent went to four cards. Actually, Lotus Petal or Chrome Mox. We have five hits for a turn one. Okay, two cards and they discarded two Dredgers. That means that we have a turn two. Okay. No whammies, no whammies. All right. Ah, Coliseum. I think we just lost to a mulligan to four. Ball therapy and double narco. They have two therapies too. I think we just lost to a mulligan to four. I'm going to let them, like, there's always the chance that we get lucky here. So I'm going to let them therapy me. No brainstorm. Okay, so they're probably gonna name Chain of Smog here. I am going to put Gristle Brand in the graveyard just in case we draw a reanimate or something. And now they're gonna discard our Chain of Smogs. So we have two Chain of Smog we could rip off the top or one of the, re the reanimate effects. And now they can actually cast their Hogak as well. Which allow, allows them to cast Dread Return uh, for Ashen Rider and remove my land. Let's see if they do it. That's a kind of an interesting way of getting a third creature for Dread Return. All right, they're giving me the hit here. Do we hit? Uh, unfortunately, that's not good enough. Okay, game three. Hmm. On the play, I think I'd rather have Thought Seize than Careful Study. I think I'm just going to submit this. Okay, game number three, and we are on the play against Dredge. Ooh, this hand's tempting. I don't know if this is good enough, though. I think we're supposed to ship it. Interesting. Oh, it's just turn one gristle. Bottom of land. Okay. When it goes to five. The four cards. All right, no ley line. So we are going to attempt to put gristle brand into play. Thoughts he's targeting me, going to 17 life. Our opponent saw a lot of their decking game too. It never showed a, um, what is it called? A creeping chill. So part of me wonders if I'm supposed to respect it or just stay at nine. I think I'm going to stay at nine because if I draw up to seven, our opponent can still just like Cabal Therapy or hand away. Where right now I can just draw 14 next turn. And that's not going to be a problem. All right, Lion's Eye Diamond. All right, they're going for it. Flashback looting. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to get to attack with a Gristle Brand right now. Draw. It's probably kind of free to draw seven first in case I hit Dark Ritual and Tomb Shallow Grave for Emrakul. But I didn't hit that, but I just have a win anyway. 
So we'll go to wood, we'll go get the bayou. Dark Ritual. Play the Apprentice and then Chain of Smog myself. That's going to do it. We are 3 0. We are two wins away from a 5 0 with Entombment Show. I hope we get it. I really do. This deck is really sweet. I like it quite a bit. All right. See you in round number four. Hey, you're still watching. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe. If you're looking to make a purchase from Card Hoarder, TCG Player, or Amazon, and are looking to support us, you can open up our description down below, and in there you will find our affiliate links. Those same links are found on the homepage of the Epic Storm, but that's not all. We've included a Card Hoarder button on our website that will load the Epic Storm in your Card Hoarder cart to make life simple for you. Match number four. We're on the play once again against a blue player in Vintage. Here we have the whole double reanimate thing again. I think we're going to try this. So this hand actually beats a Force of Will as long as they don't counter the Dark Ritual. Okay, so let's lead off on our trusty Swamp Dark Ritual. And two. Go get our Gristle Brand and then reanimate Gristle Brand. <laughs> Another turn one. Uh, that's funny. Amir, our opponent, said this isn't the storm that I know and love. <laughs> yeah, we're uh we're doing the thing right now. So they do play a lot of blue decks, so we're going to take the cyborg advice here and just do 15 in and 15 out. So let's get rid of these copies of Careful Study. Uh, we're going to leave the personal tutor. They said take out Reanimate and Entomb, so let's do that. And then three copies of Shallow Grave. All right, 15 in, 15 out. Game number two. This, uh, this does the thing, so we're going to try it. Blue to Delta, okay. Uh, they're on Blue Red as well. Everybody's on this deck. Who thought these was a good pickup? So we're gonna thought seize, and this might be able to give us turn two show and tell omniscience gristle. Days. Guess we take the days. Hope that their ponders miss next turn. All right, so Ragvan is going to connect. We'll go to 16. They'll get a card off the top of our deck. Underground C. And Ponder. They have not played their land yet. Did not shuffle. Scalding Tarn and... Another Ponder. So I think our best draw is actually Grief. Because Grief could clear the way, and they didn't shuffle off that Ponder either. Draw. Another er, Apprentice. I don't know, part of me thinks that I'm just supposed to try to jam the Show and Tell here. Show and Tell. Force Blue card. Kind of daring that they attempted to Ponder if they found the Force last turn, but yeah. Because that, we knew, I guess, uh, they had a draw step. Uh, so never mind, that's not exactly true. Okay. Narset. Swords to Plowshare. So they're pretty far ahead right now. Lotus Petal. This at least allows us to beat Days. And then we'll play the Apprentice. We want to find Chain of Smog. That's what we're looking for here. Okay, I've been swords. All right, so Ragavan. Ah, uh, Chain of Smog. All right, they're going to cast Expressive Iteration. Surgical Extraction. And now they're going to use Narset. Ponder. 
and cast ponder. Did not shuffle. Okay, so we need to find another copy of Chain of Smog. All right, let's play the Wither Bloom. I guess I'd also take uh, a show and tell. I'll take it, go to 11. Wish Claw. Easy. They have so much mana, we're casting the Wish Claw is almost free for them. What are you doing? You're playing the Claw, okay. It looks like they're just using the Claw right away. Second guessing it. All right, so let's see that uh, the Chain of Smog here. My own copy of Wish Claw. Brainstorm, okay. I'm unfortunately single mana away from being able to try to win the game right now. They're resolved, okay. So we just have to pass the turn here. They found swords. That's a bummer. One card in their hand. So they're attacking for six, and I'm going to go to seven. And then Ragavan. Ah, oh, Brazen Bar is brutal. So they can cast Petty Theft on the Claw, and that takes away my ability of being able to show and tell off of Wish Claw. Right, they chose not to cast it. Two cards in hand. Okay, let's attempt to show and tell. Days or Force both beat me here. Okay, so they got game number two. Not the end of the world. We did see that they decided in Surgical, so I'm not convinced that's the line I want to take here. I'm probably just going to leave the deck as is. That said, it was a little bit awkward how we got stuck with Gristlebrand uh, Omniscience in our hand that game, that's for sure. Okay, the third game, we're on the play here. Uh, unfortunately, that is not a keep. We have to ship it back. Am I supposed to keep this? I, I don't know. All right, let's try it. We'll we'll put Brazen Borrower on the bottom. I think I'm just gonna main phase this brainstorm, so that way it can't be dazed or hit by Pyroblast. Okay. So I think we hide the Show and Tell here, because Show and Tell doesn't actually do anything with this hand. This is one of the problem with the two card Monty strategies, where sometimes you just draw the wrong half of your deck. Okay, so we're going to play out Petal here, and then we'll fetch Bayou, and then cast Wish Claw. We can pay for days if need be. Okay, that's the turn. Volcanic Island pass. Alright, I think we're just going to pass back. If they're not going to do anything, we don't need to play into their tricks. Interesting. Okay, so what are you doing this turn? Caracas, so pretty good against Grisselbrand. Play out the Misty Pass. Looking for a window to try to win. They're not giving us that window right now, so we're not going to play into it. And this is a pretty good time to cast Brainstorm because they don't have Pyroblast up. Ding. I think we put the other chain on top and then we draw both. All right, so they have eight cards in hand. They're just going to discard here. We'll draw the chain. I think we just cast one of the apprentices. Let them use the swords. We didn't have enough mana to cast everything all in one turn anyway, so 
that ended up being a fine exchange in my opinion okay pyromancer they have six cards in hand we're gonna upkeep fetch we don't want to draw another copy of dark ritual get underground sea draw lotus petal so if i use wish claw and go get grief pitch this that would give me exact mana so i would lose to daze all right let's just go get the grief anyway evoke pitching dark ritual i mean their hand has to be pretty stacked here they haven't done anything all game forcing grief okay i think i'm just gonna pass i don't want to play into days all right five cards in our opponent's hand now Back for three puts us to 16. I would love to draw another Grief or a Thought Seize. I don't care about Narset. So this actually taps them off of Sword. So I think they have a Pyroblasting. Ah, oh, they found Forcible off Narset. All right, so let's play the Prentice. Play Petal. Fetch. I think they need Day's Force here to stop us from winning with five cards. So they can force this. We know that they have a force. Uh, did you not have a blue card or did you just have a bolt that you were sitting on the whole time? Oh, that's actually a good play by them. I didn't consider that. Well done. That was a tight play. Yeah, I didn't think of that at all. Nice. Granted, I don't play this deck that often, so that's just like not something I've experienced before. Uh, but now we're in a tough spot where we only have two Chain of Smog left. And yeah, they just had Prismatic Endings. So we're probably dead here. Surgical Extraction. Yeah, lights out for us. Draw. Okay. They have surgical. I just don't think even with a really good draw here that I'm going to be able to do anything. Because they have show and tell uh shut off with Crocus. Yep, I'm just dead here. Not the end of the world. We're three and one. One round left to go. Let's just finish strong. Let's get that four one. If you're looking for more great Magic the Gathering content, definitely check out the Eternal Glory podcast. It is myself, Brian Cook, alongside Brian Koval and Phil Gallagher. We primarily discuss Legacy. That said, a lot of what we talk about transcends all formats. We're available on all major podcast platforms. The fifth and final round. We're on the draw. This hand seems fine. I'm going to try it out. All right. So let's find out what our opponent's playing here. Mountain, okay. Rift Bolt, so Burn. Uh, I imagine Gristlebrand is pretty good at beating uh, Burn. So I think I'm just going to pass on their end step, cast in Tomb, untap and Shallow Grave. Okay. Ouch. Chain Lightning, sure. So I go to 14. Chain Lightning again. Now I'm at 11. So Fire Blast can put me to 7. Just something to keep in mind. And I'm not going to click through my end step this time. We'll cast in Tomb. Go grab Gristlebrand. Draw. And let's just shallow grave here get in there this puts me up to 18 the question is do i want to go back down to 11 i don't know yeah let's do it all right so we hit lotus petal we're a dark ritual away from being able to win the game 
I think we just pass. Okay, so we're going to move to clean up, discard the fetches, personal tutor. Try not to give away too much info here. Maybe the careful study. All right, so bolt, bolt, fire blast wouldn't be lethal here. Okay, so I guess what... The concern that we have now is Fire Blast on Wither Bloom Apprentice. Play Apprentice. Chain of Smog. Do I win? And a concession. Nice. All right. So we got game number one. I don't. I think we're going to do another hybrid plan here. So we'll bring in the Emrakul. Bring on the omniscience and the show and tells. So that's seven in. We can probably get rid of this personal tutor. It's probably the worst card in the deck, in my opinion. Get rid of these griefs. Get rid of the thought sees. And then shave like a single careful study. That seems good to me. Okay. So a little bit of an awkward hand. We don't have show and tell. I think we're supposed to just ship this like the it's the two card Monty problem like we just have the wrong half of the deck and this hand is pretty questionable. I think I'm supposed to just go to five. Okay. So we'll get rid of. Hmm. Maybe it's this. Let's try this out. Brianna might, might be too slow in this matchup. Well, Dark Ritual is a terrific draw. And Tomb. Go get Gristle, and then reanimate the Gristle. Fairy Macabre! Oh, oh, oh. oh, that's brutal. Wait, did they misclick? Oh, no. They misclicked. Oh, that's brutal. Oh. Um, I feel bad about that. Oh, I guess I'm going to pass the turn. Uh, sorry, opponent. Yikes. I'm trying to think of the times that I've cast Fairy Macabre and Pauper. Because you have to target something in order to cast it. So, I'm weird. I'm confused at how it didn't select anything, I guess. Okay. We're just not going to pay seven life this time. We're just going to attack in seven and pass. Get in there. Pass the turn from 13 life. We just have a big dumb gristle brand. Flame rift, sure. So now we're at nine. We're still safe from bolt fire blast. Okay, draw. Just attack and pass. So you could draw seven looking for Wither Bloom plus chain, but like why risk anything when you don't need to? Like our opponent isn't going to be able to kill us from 16 life. Our opponent says GG's. Uh, I feel bad about that. Like that's not a great way of uh, finishing our league, unfortunately. But this is the deck list. It was a lot of fun to play. Uh, so my thoughts are, I don't know how I feel about the Wishclaw slots. If I'm being honest, like they've just felt a little bit weird. And I didn't love the personal tutor. Everything else about this deck list was pretty amazing. I really enjoyed playing it. This deck was super fun. I totally play it again. So John, thank you for your donation deck. I hope you enjoyed this sweet 4-1. Everyone else, thanks for watching. Keep storming. Have a great day. Happy New Year's. All that good stuff. Hey, Brand Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com tutoring. 
don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.